Hey, Dad and Joyce. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And thank you so much for everything that you have done for me for so many years and for everything that you've done for the whole family. Hey, Wayne and Joyce. I uh, just want to tell you Merry Christmas and just want to give you some encouraging words um, from me and my family. Good, Good morning. morning. From the Grand Canyon. North Rim. Yep. Hi, Wayne and Joyce. I want to thank you all for everything. You've always encouraged me to keep making things. Even if it melts wax in the oven, or if it doesn't come out the way you want to, or it's not everything that you expected, you should always keep going and you should always try something new. And you're never, you're never to anything to try something different. Hey, Graham. Hey, Papa. Uh -huh. This one is a Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hey, Graham, Papa. Uh -huh. We just want to say thank, thank you, you for all that you Me do, too. and I'm done. Hey, Graham and Papa, it's Emily. Um, I just wanted to wish y'all a very, very Merry Christmas. I wanted to let you know that I love you so much. Hey, hey Graham. Hey, Papa. I just wanted to say Merry Christmas, and we love you, and thank you for all that you do. We don't know where we'd be without you. Hi, Graham and Papa. Just wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love you. With the birth of Kayla and Aaron, uh, you all have really been uh, just an encouragement to them and us as parents. And uh, you've given us kind words and words of leadership and instruction and wisdom. Joyce, I am so happy that you are my stepmother. You have brought so much joy to this family. You've brought a huge amount of comfort to me personally. And some of my happiest memories with you are um, when you guys would come to visit New York. One of the things I miss most about not living in New York is not getting to play with you guys for a weekend in the fall. Uh, one Thanksgiving, Sadie came to visit and we had so much fun. I got to show her the whole city and she showed me parts of it that I never really paid attention to before. Hey Dad, uh, Merry Christmas. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Uh, I just want to thank you for all you've done for me. You are one of my heroes in life. Uh, as I've gotten older and all that, I see a lot more how wise you are. And I just want to thank you for all the spiritual help you've given me over the years. I wish more people in the world had dads like you. Hi, Merry Christmas, Queen and Joyce. Say hi, Macintosh. Um, I love you very much and wanted to express just my sincere um, warm wishes for a wonderful Christmas holiday. Hey, Merry Christmas, hey, Grandma and Papa. How doing? We love you. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Grandma and Papa. Merry Christmas, Grandma and Papa. I think with amazement at how far you've come in life and what you've accomplished in life from where you started, truly humble origins. But to think that you went from little country towns in Texas that were not even on the map hardly, to a really big church and actually helping the church grow and helping the town grow and being such a big part of Zachary. I loved growing up at First Baptist Church, Zachary. It was just the biggest thrill for me as a little kid, going into your office. It was lined with bookshelves and because I really wanted to have an office like that of my own, and now I do. It's different, but it's mine. The experiences that growing up there afforded me, I can't imagine how I could have gotten such rich experiences any other way and made me feel safe in the world, and I really appreciate that. You officiated at all of our weddings, every single one of our weddings. It means so much to me. You're really a remarkable man. You took every single one of us on a really great, and for me at least, life-changing trip. That was such an amazing gift that you gave to all of your kids. I know when you were in India, you were staying in the same hotel with the Dalai Lama, and the Dalai Lama went right up to you and started a conversation. I'm truly amazed and impressed at how you've managed to create that life for yourself. And I'm so proud that you're my father. Some glad morning when his life is over, I'll fly away to that land on God's list for sure. I'll fly away, I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, bye bye.
Joyce, it has been such a pleasure getting to know you and your whole family. You've brought so much youth and vitality into the... It's been a real pleasure for me getting to know Brian and Ian and getting to see them grow and develop and their beautiful wives and super cute kids. Thank you for taking care of Dad for all these many years. I just want to thank you for making this family a family. You're so much a part of it, and we can't say how much we love you and appreciate all that you've done and continue to do. I love seeing the photographs of you and Dad with your big family. It makes me happy seeing those photographs because Dad loves being part of a big family, and it just makes me feel good to see how the families have come together. Your, your family made me feel included. Now, I just want to thank you for making this family a family. You're so much a part of it. I just want to thank you. You're a one amazing woman, and I'm glad Dad found you. Hey, Dad and Joyce. We just wanted to say how much we love you, and I appreciate all the things you've done for us, and Merry Christmas. Hey, Grandpa Paul. Thanks for being amazing grandparents all these years. I love you guys so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, hey there. It's Christmas time and here we are making a video. So in my video here that Angelica is recording, <laughs> sitting behind the camera, trying to refrain from laughing, I'm going to say Merry Christmas and I love y'all very much and y'all are really good grandparents. Merry Christmas. Thanks for being great to us and the kids. We love you. It always feels really great to come home. Christmas at Dad and Joyce's is really special. I so appreciate that you've created this home that draws us all together. A lot of us, it's the only time we really get to see one another. It just means so much to me when we all get together. 